Please be seated. I would invite Frank Victor Feria to come forward to share his faith reflection. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the subject of my witness is our daily bread and why I go to Mass daily. Well, the story started one afternoon while playing with my brother and a nephew at the parking lot in the newly built Santo Domingo Church in the Philippines. It is located within our neighborhood. And from the church, a man came out towards us and asked if we want to be altar boys. So we were excited and without hesitation, we accepted the offer. I was 11 years old then. We became the first altar boys in the church. We had to memorize the Latin responses to the liturgical prayers of the Mass. This was the start of a long childhood journey of serving the daily and Sunday Masses for seven years, from fourth grade until I finished high school. I gained a lot from that experience, especially receiving the Eucharist daily. At that young age of 11, I was fully aware of the real presence. In fact, I didn't want to bite the host. Fast forward, and time for college. My church involvement was minimal. My church time limited to Sundays and holy days. So much distractions that it tried to pull me away. My first year in college at the University of Santo Tomas were full of excitement and interesting happenings. New friends were developed interesting instructors and professors, way different than high school. But there was one subject that got me interested. That was the required course in Catholic apologetics. It was taught by a great professor, and he made the subject very interesting, especially with his dramatic way of reading scripture. That got me hooked on learning more about our faith and Catholicism. Fast forward after college. Then a year after college, I met my future wife. Her sister got an acceptance as a teacher at a Catholic school near Chicago. She decided to accompany her in coming to America. That got me thinking to pursue postgraduate studies in chemical engineering and enrolled at Stanford University. So we immigrated together, but they went ahead to Chicago and I stayed with my sister in San Francisco. That was August of 1967. But I felt lonely while waiting for the fall classes. So my interest in getting my PhD became unimportant. I took a Greyhound bus, which got me to Chicago. Well, I got my MD, marriage degree. <laughs> we got married at St. Mark's Catholic Church in the west side of Chicago. That was the start of a new life, new family life, job, children. We moved from Oak Park to Forest Park to Hickory Hills and finally to Orland Park in our new parish. So fast forward to post-career and now retirement. So my wife started going to daily mass and seeing her doing that revived the dormant zeal of warning of wanting to receive the Eucharist every day. That brought the memory of that altar boy in me. Going to mass daily gives me that kind of gratification like having a most coveted dream being fulfilled. 
And some non-Catholic friends would come and say, Jesus is everywhere, and I don't need to go to church to be with the Lord. True, but it's spirit. But you see, I believe our relationship in Jesus is not just a personal relationship. We can have a personal relationship with a friend, with our barber, or even our mailman, but with our Lord, it is more than just a personal relationship. Our relationship is a family bond. It is covenantally intimate, making Him not just a part of our life, but a center of our life. Now let me leave you with this following statement from my favorite theologian, Dr. Petrie. I quote, But the second person of the Trinity, the Son of God, became a man. He is not just God. He is also a man, and He has a body. He is fully God and fully man. And His body is not present everywhere. His body is present at the right hand of the Father in heaven, and on every altar, in every tabernacle in the world. And so, if you want to be with Jesus, not just in spirit, but in body, guess where you have to go? You have to go to a Catholic church. You have to go to the tabernacle. We have to go before Him in the Eucharist. You see, human love means wanting to be with someone, not just in spirit, but in body. We want to be with people when we love them. So if we love Christ, and we really love Christ, we should not want to stay away from Mass. We should at least want to go with Him every day at the very least once a week, every Sunday, because there we can encounter God who loves us so much that He died for us on the cross. The least we can do is go to be with Him and give thanks in the Eucharist. Bear in mind that in every Mass, a miracle happens before our eyes. The changing of the bread and wine, our daily bread, the epiosias, the super substantial bread into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. So now you know why I go to Mass daily. Thank you very much.